of Pinterest must or bust and this is the series where I test out really cool DIYs from Pinterest and see if they actually work. So in today's video I'll be showing you guys how I make some DIY chalk paint. Now I've seen this floating around YouTube and Pinterest as well so I kind of have a little bit of an idea of what this is all about and it's pretty simple but you know the consistency there's always like the factor of like what materials you're using and I really just want to see if this works. I actually think that this will, and I hope that it does because it'll be really fun. I'm not, I might not always have chalk, and using paint would be easier than using chalk. You had more control over it, and you can have the ground as your canvas, and you can just paint all over. So I really hope that this... So to get started, you're just going to be adding in any amount of water that you need. There's no specific amount of water. So you add in about a little bit of water, and then you're going to add in the same amount of flour or cornstarch. So you're going to want to make the amount of cornstarch to water even as possible, because you don't want it to be too thick, but you don't want it to be too thin either. And then you're going to stir that all together. Like so. I'm just going to move all these extra ingredients out of the way. Right now it's like really soupy, so I'm not exactly sure if, this, if it's a good thing. And it looks really milky, so I'm not exactly sure if that's a good thing either. But I mean, I'm hoping that this works, so I'm just going to keep my hopes high. I'm going to add in just a little bit of the cornstarch. Like I said, flour is also a good substitute as well. I'm using flour, but I mean, cornstarch flour, same thing in my mind. I'm just adding just a little bit more of the flour. And then I'm going to stir that all up. And then that's pretty much it for the basic mixture. And basically, we're going to, we're going to distribute this mixture into the individual sections of the muffin tin or cupcake tin. So now I'm going to get my muffin tin out and like I said you can add the oil but really there's really no need for oil but just for purposes of the video I'm just going to add in a drop of oil and like I said it just helps the consistency better it set it in the ingredient so I'm just adding a little bit of that Okay, so now everything is every, is all mixed together, so I'm going to start distributing. Now I'm going to paint brush and I'm going to be testing out do these paints really work on the surface. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, maybe just a little bit. I'm going to try with my darker colors. You can actually see them. Okay, it's not that bad. Now we have to wait till it actually dries. All right. One thing that is that it's very watery. So maybe if I added a little bit more cornstarch, it would be better. But other than that, the color is actually really cool. Yeah, it's actually working. Okay, and now I'm just going to sit out here. Hopefully it's going to dry nicely. I just did an R because that's an easy paint for me to do. Okay. So, thoughts here is that it's very liquidy, so maybe next time I would add in more cornstarch. But other than that, the colors is really opaque, it's really easy to work with, and it's really cool, actually. 